Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's Saturday. Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. I'm the Drunk Pope Room. Tis beer time. We took a little road trip today in Agraway. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But if you're following along on the social medias, it was a fun little short trip, which is great. Uh, the other day, my latest uh, beer club, the Canadian Collective Arts Beer Club box came. And I got to say, as this has gone on for, I think we're a year and a half into doing this, this bi-monthly beer club, bi-mon beer mon con, it's not gotten better, unfortunately. It's it, it's it's $90 every quarter, every two months. Um, you get exclusive beers like this one we're going to talk about today, the CABC number 14, an IPA with Sabro and Lotus. Um, it's a big beer, 6.7, I think 6.7, 6.2, Um You get four of these, you get four of the Blood Orange Gosa, uh, there was two collective loggers, two of the new uh, Stands to Reason, the low ABV uh, Pale Ale, which we'll talk about tomorrow, or the next day maybe. Um, a botany, the non-alcoholic drink, a whisk can of whiskey sour, a big bottle of some cidery thing they did. Um, a can of Hazed and Confused, or you know, Hazed and Confused, uh, the, the ha their Hazy IPA. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's worth 90 bucks. I think initially... When it first came out, we were getting all the beers from Toronto. It was like all these, you know. And I was picking those up anyways, but I didn't care because it was nice to get them in a box. It was cool. You know, there was a glass. There was things. And now it's just like, eh. So, I don't know. I think that's probably the last one I'm going to get. But we'll talk about this beer. Yeah. And again, I love Collective Arts, but I think that maybe they need to rejig and rethink what they're doing here. Um, so, let's get into this beer. It, it's tough, eh? Because... It's funny because I see people talking about certain beers on social media and I know they're not great and they're like praising them and I'm like, well, they, 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 they don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers. And I get that. I feel that for you. I get, you know, I've been doing this so long now. I've, I'm getting to the point where I, 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 I'm trying to find positive things and I love these, 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 you know, exclusive beers. That's fabulous. But the value in the box needs to be better, you know? I don't know. I, I don't have an answer. I wish I did. But uh, let's talk about the beer because the beers, these beers have been phenomenal so far. And I love seeing them. But, you know, there's the value. Where is the value in that? All right, let's get into it. Cheers. Again, it's a beautiful beer. Sexy, sexy sapper. Look how distracted I was. Um, and they described the beer, and I like that. Like, it tells you what you're getting. Uh, it's good. Let's get this last one's. Uh, yeah, coconut and peach and apricot, pina colada flavors. Yeah, it's, it, it, it definitely is. Nice little thin in body, um, but it's definitely tropical. You're definitely getting that coconut. There's a bit of mint in there, I think, too. Nice bit of tropical feel, pith on the back end. Yeah, like it, it's okay, right? It's good. I just, i really struggling with it because of the whole thing. You know, the body, eh. Right, and I, maybe it's my flavor profile. I don't know. I love the lager. The lager's fantastic. I'm looking forward to you know the stands to reason. But do I need four cans of this? Seems excessive. It seems like filler, and I think that's part of the problem. We've seen this year since they you know they stopped brewing in Toronto for whatever reason, economics, whatever. Because those bottles were hitting weekly. There was new stuff hitting the tap room and I was driving down to pick it up and I think this year we've seen what two maybe maybe three new beers and we're almost in May. So, you know, maybe we rethink the beer club and just start releasing beers for everybody again or maybe this is just they're, they're refocusing and and you know, cleaning up the the massive inventory of beer they have because there there's so many beers they have. Um, I don't know. Like I just and I I was so happy when I got it and it's just like I'm, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm probably gonna cancel it, and that that breaks my heart because I love collective arts so much. Like that, it is. It's it's it is, and I, I love the beers they make, and I love my friends that work there. You know, it's it's a big deal, but it's getting hard to plunk down ninety bucks every two months for essentially what is four cans of a, an IPA that I want to try that's exclusive with some cores thrown in, and you know, like I don't know. I felt last year was exciting. All the Toronto beers in the bottles were, were there. And now this year, it seems like... Because there, there's something weird happening. And I don't know what it is. And I'm not saying it's anything nefarious or bad. It's just for a brewery that was dropping like two new beers every week or three new beers every week out of Toronto. It was great to go to what we're seeing now. And I don't know what that is. And again, I'm not 
saying there's anything bad happening. You know, maybe they've realized, you know, in this market, you've got to kind of focus on your core brands with, you know, little things dropping in now and then. Uh, sure. Sure. But the beer club, you know, like you can get a free beer tour for you and a guest. That's awesome. And I'll give that to a friend of mine because I've been had to tour collective arts a lot of times. I know Powell who love that. And I'll share out the, the beers and I'll give Polly an IPA and the Blood Orange Ghost. So I'll try it and I'll share with the uh, girl at work who loves the sour beers and the whiskey sour we'll try and the lager. I love the lager. So I'm just going to drink the lager and Hazy State. That's a good beer. And I'm not saying they're not good beers. I'm just like for $90. The value needs to be there. You know, getting the glass was cool because that was, you know, and there's no new glasses in this. All I said, bring, send out the branded Spiegelu again and the Spiegelu IPA glass and you've got to, you know, <laughs> hooked for life. But yeah, so there you go. I don't know. And I, I, I hesitate to do these things because I don't want to, I hate crapping on people's dreams and then that and say, and it's not like I'm saying anything bad. I'm just saying, I don't know the value is there for this anymore. And maybe they need to rethink what they're doing. I don't know. If you get the Collective Arts Beer Club box, do you feel the same way? Do you Are you like, cool, you like the way it is, and I'm the one that's way off base? I honestly don't know. I'm just speaking from my own perspective. This is a nice beer. Don't get me wrong. And I like this beer. And I will drink my three or four cans because i got to give one to Polly. But, you know, I'm just like, <sighs> struggle, man. Anyways, that's your Saturday fun. Huh? Huh? You know what? I love these guys so much, and they have, I've been a massive supporter since day one when I started this stuff, and I will continue to. I just, I think this needs a rethink. It really does. Keep making great beer. Like, Good Monster, I friggin' love Good Monster. Like, Good Monster's gonna be our our uh, our September beer this year when we do our September song every day. We drink the same beer and listen to the same song. But man, I don't know. I'm struggling. I don't know, it is. Okay. I'm going to go drink these beers and enjoy them, and I hope you guys are having a good day. But, you know, get some Collective Arts beer. If you haven't had it in a while, get some, because this stuff is banging. But, uh, yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Cheers. It's a nice beer. I don't know, man. I don't know.